Hi guys and welcome to another DIY video. So I'm super excited about this one. doing tie-dye for the first time ever. I should probably have practiced this before doing it on camera but you know what we're just gonna go for it. So the other day I was going through my old saddle pads and we have this one which is just a plain white saddle pad but it does have a small stain on it. So we were thinking we've tried to get the stain out, I've washed it and it's not coming out. So as a white saddle pad it just doesn't work but rather than throw it away, I thought I would give it a new lease of life. Hence, I have got some tie-dye. Um, so my idea is I'm kind of trying to go for that weather beater ombre look, if you know what I mean. Um, but basically, I really love ombre and I just thought if I can try and tie-dye it ombre rather than the traditional tie-dye, I don't know if it's going to work. My little kit came with a manual and it has a ombre tutorial thing on it which I've read and it seems very simple however this may be a fail I don't know if it is going to work or not because as I said this is my first time trying but anyway I am confident that I'll be able to do it and so the items that you're going to need are a plain saddle pad of your choice Obviously, this is a dressage square. It doesn't have to be a dressage square. It can be whatever you want. Just make sure it's white and that it's freshly cleaned if you are using um, an older one. So this has been in the wash and I haven't used fabric softener because that's what the instructions said to do. They said to wash it, um, but not to use fabric softener. And then obviously you're going to need a kit. So my kit is off Amazon. It was super cheap and I got how many colors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12. So I got 12 colours, but I'm actually planning on only using three. So I want this to be a yellow to orange to red ombre. Um, I don't know if these are enough to colour the entire saddle pad. So one side might have to be this colour, one side might have to be a different colour. We will see how far this goes. So I've already put down a plastic sheet to protect my work surface. So that's done. And because I am going for the ombre effect, I've got a paintbrush, like a flat paintbrush, a sponge on a stick, and a little bowl of water over here as well, because it says basically, I need to mix this, pop that on a line, and then wash it upwards. And hopefully this will work. So I'll get set up and then we'll get going. So all I need to do for the paints is to fill the bottles up to the line and then shake to dissolve all of the powder paint. Make sure your lid is on nice and tight. I don't want to end up covered. There we go, there are my three colours mixed. Okay, so now I'm going to put my gloves on. And hopefully not get this everywhere because we all know what I'm like. Gloves are on, so my plan is to make a line. I think I'm going to start with the yellow and then work my way up. Yeah. Can you like just pull up? Oh, there we go. Okay, so, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's start with this bottom edge. I definitely don't think these three bottles are gonna cover this entire thing, but 
we shall see. So here we go. Okay, so it does kind of bleed in a bit, which is good, which is what I needed to do. I'm gonna try and, I don't know how well this bit's gonna color. Try and get under there. This is looking good. Trying to do a line isn't that easy. Okay. So now I'm going to take my water and my brush and try and blend this upwards. It might not be as easy as I thought it would. careful on these edges that the edges don't go too light and then any of the middle that's a bit I need more yellow on there okay. so the next section I'm going to do is the orange and I'm super nervous for this one I've had to change my gloves already because they got a hole in so maybe invest in some better gloves than come with the kit so I'm gonna go about here like this point because obviously I want to ombre it like either side so I'm gonna make a line here I am literally making this up as I go along so we will see so I'm not going to swap the water or anything so I'm kind of hoping it'll Mix in nicely. Ooh. Ooh, okay. This is looking better than I thought. So now I've got to kind of ombre it upwards as well because it's going to go into red up here. absolutely loving this. I think it just looks really nice. Um, so I'm going to try and replicate it on the other side. I'm going to go from red back down to yellow and I think that will work better because my yellow has got a few red bits on which is absolutely fine. I'm just going to go over that with the yellow afterwards.
that is done. Um, I'll show you the finished. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. So here we go. That is the ombre effect I've managed to get. Um, yeah, I really do like it. I'm actually really impressed with myself, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm going to pop this down now. Pop it down that way. And give you a bit of a close up before I wrap it up for drying. So this is the finished look. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I think it's come out really, really well. What I'm going to do now is wrap it up and leave it. It says a minimum of like six to eight hours. I'm probably just gonna leave it overnight. So apparently you wrap it up and then um, wash it the next day. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Apparently it needs to go dry. I don't know if that's true or not, but basically I'm gonna wrap it up now and we will see what happens. Okay guys, so it is now the next day and I have washed and dried the saddle pad. So here is the finished result. So this is my sunset ombre saddle pad. I think it's turned out really well. Obviously the colours do get lighter um, when you wash and dry it and the bits that you sort of faded tend to go more white but I'm still really happy with it. Um, I also made a few tie-dye tops and things like that um, with the leftover dye. I managed to get two tops out of that as well. So the dye um, in the tie-dye kit I got does go a really long way, um, which is brilliant. I'm going to link everything that I've used down below. It's literally one kit from Amazon. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was pretty cheap. I'll put it in the description anyway. So yeah, this is the finished article. Um, I'm really happy with it. The bits, these didn't really colour too well because they're like plasticky if that makes sense they've got they're like coated um so these didn't really um die but that really doesn't matter to be honest because I think this looks pretty good and for my first tie-dye attempt I'm really happy with it so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video hope it's giving you some ideas if you do give this a go be sure to tag me on Instagram at little pet channel because I'd love to see you guys giving this a go um, and yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get notification every time I post and I'll see you guys very very soon bye guys